Let's go look at a freebie I got for you. This is from our good buddies, Nelson Long. He's, man, the king of content creation. <laughs> a new collection coming out called 3D Extraordinary. I got a freebie for you guys, because you're awesome. Let's go take a look at this guy. I love these things, and they're just so fun. Uh, let's see, this is called Latest Work. And let me just back this up and I'll set this up for you. The package itself is all of these slides and collections with a little bit of a 3D focus in them. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. But it's all about various slides for various topics. Okay, so of course you got your contact us, you got your COVID, you got your location slides. And these are just the ones I downloaded. All kinds of fun stuff. And inside each of these, actually I'll go to the one that you're going to get here. It's from the one-time offer, latest work. So each directory in it has the fonts and stuff, of course, right? I also like that they use normal fonts. Then they have a video preview. So you can look at this. And they're just oh, so nice. You know, so easy to use. Some of these things caught my eye. Like this one we're going to talk about in just a second. <laughs> just gorgeous stuff. I love it. So I use this for kicking out videos and stuff, but I also use it for inspiration to come up with Camtasia stuff. So here is the PowerPoint slide deck, and then you also get a directory with just static images. So you'll notice that these are all in the topic of latest work, and these are all different slides that you can use to, you know, you wouldn't use all of these slides. This is when you need a slide to show your latest work. You know, you could mix and match slides, of course, but you might just make copies of multiple slides and, you know, modify them accordingly. But just lots of good stuff in here, right? All right, let's not belabor that. Let's go take a look at it real quick. Oh, let's see. So, easy peasy. Again, you don't have to screw around with funky fonts. Uh, you might need to, like, you know, make stuff bigger and all that good whatnot. But even the animations, okay, aren't timed. They're slides. So they'll last as long as you want. That's kind of the way it works, right? So they aren't going to be advancing on you without you wanting them to, and just, you know, really just um, handy-dandy visual content. This one, I really kind of like. So I'm going to kick this into slideshow mode. What do you think of that? Okay, that is just stunning to me. So, of course, what I am want to do is rip that off right away, immediately. So let's do that. Let's copy this. Let's go to... I'm going to go start a new slide deck, and I'm going to paste this in, keep source formatting, open up the selection pane. I'm going to hide all, and then I'm going to start turning stuff on. So here I can see pixels. So that is probably going to be the, the video. Now let's show all and preview it first, I guess, be the thing to do. Right? Okay, I like that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off that transition. Let's preview it. Right. Okay. So now let's hide all. And I see some pixels, which means there's some royalty-free videos here. And, oh, I like that. Videos of different size. Uh, same video, right? Only so, some is masked inside of this donut. And then this one. Uh, which one? This one? There we go. So this is masked into just a shape. You end up with this really cool effect. And then... There's also, if we turn on a couple more shapes, we'll see this thing down in the corner, right? And probably one more, right? And so, what, the, what I did was I just configured this like this. Turn these shapes off. So here's the full video. If we go to video playback, we'll see, if we go to trim video, it is six seconds long. 
A couple of things I can do here actually. Let's turn off all. Let's turn just that video. Okay. If I wanted this, I could right click and save media as. Okay. And this is the pixels video. So I could, you know, save it pixels water, whatever, blah, 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 and use it in my projects. Okay. Just because it's here, I like it and all that good stuff. So now I'm going to turn stuff on, turn that on, and here is a rectangle. So what they did was they just put a, a white rectangle on top and added some opacity to it. Okay, and from a design perspective, what does that do? Well, it just makes it nicer, doesn't it? Okay, let's turn that off. And, well, yeah, I mean, that can work too, but it's kind of bright. <laughs> so don't be afraid to add design elements for things like, you know, just drop a rectangle and dim it out a bit. And let's add those shapes and the freeform, freeform shapes. There we go. So now I got the stuff turned on that I want. And I know how long the video lasts. So I'll go to File, Export, Create Video. Have it last six seconds. Six, not 60. And create video. Okay, when I do that, then, of course, I can go into Camtasia. So this is the PowerPoint video that we just exported. Okay, and now I can use that as a cool background and do all the cool stuff that, that they did. Get some more ideas from the, the original template. You know, have this box fly in with a behavior and you'll notice the text and stuff that comes in burp, see the nice little bounce and stuff it has we can do all that in Camtasia too if we want so two ways to kind of handle it I love PowerPoint for design inspiration and assets if I want to create something in Camtasia or I can just whip it out right in PowerPoint you know no big deal easy peasy very standard stuff very easy to work with. All right, any other questions? I think I gave you guys everything I got here. Right. Okay. Uh, if there are no other questions, I'll let you all go. Have a good one, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for coming.